Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rachel. If you're new here, please make sure to press the like button and also the subscribe button. And if you're not new here, welcome back and let's get into the video. So for my makeup look today, I was not sure about what I wanted to create. So I asked you guys on my Instagram page uh, what you would like to see from me and the options were a gold makeup look, gold golden shimmery makeup look or a rose gold eye makeup look. So about 84% of you guys said you wanted to see the rose gold eye makeup look. So I will be doing that and stay tuned. I don't know. Now we'll be doing that shortly. I don't know. I'm very awkward. <laughs> So the first thing, the first step is always to prime your face. Um, I'm going to be using the MAC Strobe Cream here to prime my face so that I get this nice glow. Not to prime is a crime, that's what Nikki Tutorials always say, so that's what I'm going to do right now. And I love this Strobe Cream by MAC. It just gives you this really nice sheen look. And it also has this tinge of pinkish rose gold undertone in it. Gives you this really nice healthy glow. Um, I'm done doing my brows, so I'm not gonna touch them. And we'll move straight on to the eye look because that is the focus of this look today. So we just zoomed in a little closer so you guys can see how i created this eye look and yeah let's get started first of all i use the spotlight concealer by back it's an amazing concealer it's a drugstore company but it does an amazing job especially for the price i'm really really surprised i mean like i saw so many people using it on instagram and i was just so blown away by how high coverage it was yeah, the next step I'm going to be using is um, I want you guys to be able to use any palette that you have at home. So as long as you have the same shades, it does not matter which company you have, but as long as you have like similar shades, you can definitely recreate this look. So what I'm going to be using today is the Jaclyn Hill Mor Morphe palette. Um, the James Charles palette and also the Huda Beauty nude palette um, these are the three palettes I'll be using but you guys can use any palette that you have that has similar shades so I will be starting off this look by taking a nudish color like this and this I'll just be mixing these two together and concentrating that on my eye socket just to carve out my eye and also I'm making sure not to hold the brush too tight and holding it at the end of the brush like I'm not holding it up here but I'm holding it down here next shade that I'm will be using is the a brown shade like a coffee brown shade and using the same blending brush I'm just going to be concentrating that on the outer V like so and also a little on the crease line next using another smaller slightly smaller blending brush I'm going in with my James Charles Morphe palette and grab some of that and I'll just be placing that on my crease and also the outer V. Next, I'll be taking that coffee tone again and placing that on the outer V and also deepening my crease line a little bit more. Next, I'm going to take a really small, precise blending brush. This is the back um so2 uh brush sorry and i'll be taking a dark brown shade a cool dark brown shade or maybe something like a black shade would work as well just tapping off the excess and with that i'm just going to use that shade 
on the outer V right there just to create a winged appearance. Sticking really close to my lash line and winging it out. Don't worry if it looks a little untidy at this moment because we're going to clean that, all of this off with some concealer later. Next, we need to cut that crease. So I'm taking the same concealer that I used earlier and a concealer brush, a flat concealer brush. And I'm just taking a bit on my brush and placing it right there right at the center of the lid and if you don't know how to cut your crease this is a great tip on how you know how far you need to go so put some of the concealer right there and look up look straight up and down you see where it's marked right there that's where you need to cut your crease so i'll just be doing that That is done and you just want to set that crease with a white eyeshadow I'm just batting that over the concealer I believe that anyone can do makeup you just need to sit down and practice and I've had clients that come up to me and they're like I can never do that or something like that and I don't believe that I feel like anyone can do it if you have patience and if you trust yourself enough I'm grabbing a flat um, eyeshadow brush and I'm taking my Huda Beauty um, Nude Light Palette and this has a really, this is such a pretty palette guys, look at it, um, really nice rose gold tones here. I'm just grabbing this pinkish one here and I think these shimmers work better with your finger. But I'm just laying it out first, just to map out where exactly I want to place this color. And going in with this slightly darker, more rose gold tone, I'm just going to pack that on my brush and place it right at the center of my eye. And also, I'm going to take my finger here and place it on the pigment these are pressed pigments i believe they work better with your finger the color payoff is way way better with your finger than a brush if you like how sparkly it is already then you can stop here but i want to take it a bit further i want to take it a step further so if you have a liquid eyeshadow or liquid shimmer of any sort then you can use that on top if not you can skip this part and just move on to eyeliner um, for me i'll use this liquid uh, shimmer by melz and i'll just be using this all over my lid and while it's still wet I have some glitter over here. This is a rose gold glitter. And I'm just gonna go in with my finger and press that just at the center of the eye. I'm just gonna finish that off with some liner, a winged eyeliner. Okay, and your eye makeup is done for now um, um, we're gonna go with our base for my foundation today I'll be using the Estee Lauder double wear foundation liquid foundation so how are you guys how are you handling the whole pandemic situation I know I told you all that I would be uploading more on my YouTube but so many things happened last year that just made me want to stop with everything. 
it we should all i feel like at this time we should all be looking out for each other especially with everything that's going on mental health is super important and if you see your friends or your family struggling you should probably get them some help because it's a really difficult time right now for everyone and you know we just all look out for each other i'm concentrating the blush quite high up in my cheeks adding some blush on my nose because i find it cute <laughs> Grabbing a highlight brush here and my favorite highlight the Bobbi Brown highlight And just oh Sorry, I know everyone nowadays is like all about that natural glow. And I love that as well, but Something about a full face just gets me. Okay. I'm just grabbing my makeup removal wipe here. This is by Lacme and Just removes it removing <laughs> Just removing the foundation from my lips. Finishing off the eye look with some lashes by Huda Beauty. These are the Scarlet Lashes, number 8 from Huda Beauty. And now for my lips, I will be going in with the Huda Liquid Lipstick in the shade Flirt. I love this shade by itself but I want this slightly pinkish look so I'll be going in with the Maybelline Superstay lipstick in the shade Delicate and placing that on the center of my lip. Just finishing off the lips with a little lip gloss, some clear lip gloss. Some setting spray. And now I'll just be doing my hair and changing my clothes and I'll be back to show you the final look. Stay tuned. This is not TikTok. <laughs> I was gonna do a weird transition, never mind. Bye. So this is the final look, you guys. I hope you enjoy it. And if you did, please make sure to leave a like button and also please comment and let me know what other looks you would like to see from me. And yeah, thanks for sticking around and I love you guys always.